Here is an amazing overview of what you can see in this video. Hi, good day to everyone. This is Arthur and of course Richard Aguilar here and we are back again today to give you another awesome video. And now before we start, don't forget to subscribe and push the bell icon to keep you updated with our new videos. What we are going to show you is another amazing technological innovation and advancement happening in China. So in this video, you will see 10 newest technological innovation and advancement going on in the country. And without further ado, let's get right to our video. Number one is China's first support ship for 10,000 meter deep manned submersible launched. China's first support ship customized for the domestically developed 10,000 meter deep manned submersible was launched in Maui district of Fuzhou city in southeast China's Fujian province. The ship has total length of 87.2 meters, a width of 18.8 .8 meters, a molded depth of 7.4 meters, a trial speed of 14.3 knots, and a displacement of 7,000 tons. Number 2 is China's first intelligent expressway to be completed in 2022. A new intelligent highway stretch is being constructed in China's Zhejiang province. The road will feature three lanes in either direction and will be 161 km in length with advanced feature including mobile charging systems for EVs. The project is being planned by the Department of Transportation of Zhejiang Province and will connect Ningbu with Hangzhou, with construction starting in 2018 and due for completion in 2022. Number 3 is, this is how does China generate its energy? China, the world's largest energy consumer, relies heavily on coal to meet its unrelenting demand for electricity, heating, and transportation. The nation is also the world's biggest producer of energy, generating vast amounts using natural gas, hydropower, nuclear reactors, as well as solar and wind. Number 4 is PetroChina drills Asia's deepest oil well on land. The Tarim oil field branch of PetroChina, China's largest oil and gas producer, said the Luntan Wan well, the deepest oil well on land in Asia, has been confirmed to yield in a daily output of more than 100 tons of crude oil and 50,000 cubic meters of natural gas. The Luntan Wan well, with a current depth of 8,882 meters, has smashed seven well drilling records around Asia since it went into operation in 2018. Number 5 is Snow Train Launched in Northeast China Northeast China's Liaoning province has launched special trains to boost winter tourism. 
The four-day trip takes passengers to travel northward from Shenyang to China's snow town of Shenhetun to Heilongjiang. According to Shenyang Railway International Travel Service Company Limited, snow trains are different from regular trains. They have double rooms, which are equipped with private bathrooms. Number 6 is China develops new generation reusable manned spacecraft. Most equipment of China's new generation spaceships can be reusable as China has adopted a two-compartment design of service module and return module, while most valuable products are put in the return module. Number 7 is China's 5th C919 jet set for further test flights in East China. The 5th prototype of China's large passenger airliner C919 arrived in Nanchang City. East China's Jiangxi province for further test flights after completing the ones in Shanghai. The C919 is part of China's long-term goal of stepping into the Western-dominated aircraft market. Number 8 is Chinese hospital use robots to deliver medicine. Two robots have recently been deployed to deliver medicine at the Guangdong Provincial People's Hospital in Guangzhou City, South China's Guangdong Province. The robots can open and close doors and take the elevator autonomously. One can carry out the work of three delivery persons, and the robots will significantly reduce the risks to clinical staff. Number 9 is New high-speed railways boost travel for migrant workers. Not everyone traveling long distances on China's high-speed trains are headed home for the Chinese New Year. With a shortage of workers both before and during the holiday, Wages are often higher in China's big cities, so some decide to put in extra time. And thanks to two newly opened rail lines, one special group of women is able to earn more to provide for their families. Number 10 is China invested hydropower plant paves way for poverty alleviation in Laos. Namtha One hydropower plant in Laos not only provides clean energy for local people, but also brings prosperity to their villages. The plant has an installed capacity of 168 megawatts and a generation capacity of 721 gigawatt hour.
And that concludes this video for today. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe and share this with others. Once again, this is Arthur. And of course, Richard Aguilar here. Thanks for watching and have a wonderful day.